Today we're checking out the ATH CKR7TW earphones from Audio Technica, the first of two new entries from the brand that mark their first entry into true wireless earphones. Now, as you'd expect from Audio Technica, the CKR7 sound very, very good. However, at $250, that might not be enough to make you want to pick these earbuds up. As you can see, the CKR7 sort of differentiate themselves right away from the sheer size of the case. This thing is large and in charge. You can see it's quite a bit bigger than some competitors such as the Sennheiser Momentum here and the MW07 from Master and Dynamic. Put them up there and it's about one and a half times the size of those guys. So it's gonna be pretty big in your pocket. Not only that, I don't know if you can tell on camera here, but the matte plastic makes this case look a little bit toyish. And another thing we don't like is that the micro USB port in the back means that these things take a long time to charge. It's a full two hours to charge the CKR7 inside the case and five hours to charge the case itself. One good thing about the battery is the CKR7 come with six hours, which beats both of those and is among the best that we've seen in true wireless headphones. On the downside again, there's only 1.5 charges in the case for a total of 15, which puts them right up against most of their rivals. The earbuds are pretty large as well, and you can see they've got this multi-layered housing with these sort of long protruding sound tubes, but that's by design for the most part. There's 11 millimeter drivers inside here, which is pretty big for a true wireless headphone. And you can see these multi-layered housings here, they actually are designed to keep the acoustic chamber away from the circuitry so that you get a better Bluetooth signal. And as far as we can tell, it works quite well. This is among the clearest Bluetooth signals we've heard. When it comes to the fit, these are quite comfortable once you've got the right ear tips, but they also stick out quite a bit from your ears. In fact, somebody in the office told me I look like techie Frankenstein, which I wasn't really going for, though I do like the style overall. Also, if you want to go for a run or you're gonna be doing some exercising, you can add these 3D loops, which will lock them in better into the ear canal, but it's also not quite as comfortable. Speaking of running, unlike a lot of earbuds we see these days, there's no water resistance and there are also a lot of other features we'd expect to be here that just aren't. There's no auto pause and unlike Sennheiser's Momentum and some other earbuds, there's also no audio pass through. Of course, you won't get that on a lot of cheaper headphones, but these cost $250, so we would have liked to see more of those kinds of features. But the worst defense for the CKR7 is the terrible video lag. It can be as much as half a second or even more, making it impossible to watch video on multiple different apps. Now, luckily, there is a workaround in which you actually change the audio codec to SBC from Aptex or AAC. Of course, that is nice to have, and it actually makes video workable, but then you're losing the better sound quality, or you're gonna have to switch back and forth from music to video if you want it to work. On the other hand, sound performance when listening to music, especially with Aptex on, is pretty fantastic. Treble is clear, clean, and it has that bright sound that you expect from Audio-Technica. There's also a lot of punch in the lower bass. It really gets hefty down there, and that makes electronica and hip hop really fun to listen to. We wish for a little bit more weight in the mid-range of the sound, but otherwise they're clear, they're detailed, and they sound quite good. There are a lot of pluses for the CKR7TW, including excellent sound and that six hours of battery life per charge. But if you're looking for something that's feature-packed and you don't want to deal with those video lag issues, you probably want to invest your $250, $300 elsewhere. If you like what you've seen here, please give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and drop a comment down below there. And you can check out more videos right over here. We also love it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out more in-depth reviews at digitaltrends.com.